Hi everyone. So today's going to be my first ever um, makeup tutorial kind of based on another person. So I was just kind of like, who should I do? Because I don't really watch music videos that much. And I haven't seen any films recently. So I didn't have any like natural inspiration. So I was thinking of this woman called Jessie J, I think. And um, she's a singer and she's just become really popular in the UK. And I was like, I really like her look. Although she is, I think... She's a much darker complexion than me, and she's got black hair, or brown hair, dark eyebrows. But I found this photo that I really like of her, that I can use my Circus palette from Sleek with, because it really is like that, and um, I'll put a link to it down below. But she's just got, I'm just looking at it because it's here, um, she's just got, excuse me, um, bright pink luminous lips, really glossy, and then kind of yellow and pink eyes with really nice um, flicked eyeliner and eyeliner around the eyes on the waterline sorry and then she's got like a beauty spot here or probably here yeah but I'll do it I don't know yeah here and uh, just really like luminous skin some really nice colourful blush so I already have my foundation on and probably a little bit of contour left from earlier but that's fine you don't need to worry about that so um yeah I really like this look it looks really I, I like it because it's interesting I didn't want to do just like a smoky eye or anything so um yeah let's get going I th obviously I'm just doing what I think it looks like she's got a makeup artist using probably all MAC products or something so yeah so I'm going to start by priming my eyes because I have really oily eyelids so I'm using Soft Ochre by MAC and I'm just going to zoom in obviously because that helps I'm going to show you this eye but I'll be doing that eye as well but I'll like speed it up so you don't have to see that bit So that kind of evens the um, colouring around your eye. Make sure you've applied under eye concealer as well. So you can only see her bottom lash line, but I'm presuming that she's got it going all the way up the top. And it's pink and um, yellow, but because she's got such glossy lips, I'm presuming that it's a matte. And I think it'll look better like that because you don't want to be like highlighted everywhere. So with my Circus palette, I'm going to be using this yellow and this pink because it's quite a vibrant pink. And also this is kind of the colour of the lips as well. So that's quite cool. And um, I'm just going to use my Sigma brushes, apart from one of them is from e.l.f. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to take my e.l.f. brush for the yellow. So I'm just going to go into this yellow here. And this is going to go onto the first kind of third of the lid, all the way across and down below as well. Because it's quite like very pigmented down here and it's quite a bit lower than you'd normally put your eyeshadow. So I think this kind of look makes it look quite sick on camera, but um, well, it is yellow, it's not like particularly attractive. And then I'm going to take my um, angled shallow brush, not for any particular reason, just because I don't use it that much, so it, I, it doesn't have other product on it, and I'm going to go into the pink. And then this is going to go for the rest of the eye and underneath as well. such a tropical looking thing it looks really really odd I, I, I am aware but I'm just going to take a blending brush now and just really gently blend it out I really like that um, when the yellow and pink mix it kind of goes a bit orangey it just looks like I'm on a tropical beach <laughs> Just wipe that off and prepare to blend the yellow a little bit. And the way she's got the picture, it's kind of like this. So um, she's got like really long eyelashes going over it. She's probably wearing fake ones, but obviously I'm not going to do that. Um, but yeah, you can't see the top, so the top is kind of like... You don't need to know about this in, in this photo, but at the end I'll kind of pose it the way she's posing it. So I'm just going to... Um, So there's a white in here, I'm just going to take it with my finger and just really gently push it into my brow because I don't want anything shimmery and I don't want anything too obvious, just really gently lighten it up. And then um, I can just blend that out a little bit. So 
so that's literally the eyeshadow done I, I understand it looks really weird like looks like I'm dying especially with my blue eyes she has brown eyes I think greeny brown eyes so it's a completely different person but um you know whatever now I'm going to use my favourite ever coal pencil pencil and it's the Smolder pencil by MAC and I'm going to line my top and uh, lower waterline this is just really intense so it's great for this sort of look and he's actually got the inside coloured in as well and then the upper waterline the eye is really intensely lined you can see how much difference that makes now I'm going to do um, gel liner yeah, I'm going to do gel liner and this look is really wispy and unfortunately I don't have a brush thin enough for me to create that look but obviously I'm going to try my hardest to make it um, wispy but it's kind of like it comes out to about here when she's looking down and it's one of those ones where it's not completely on the, uh, the out but it doesn't come from the corner it comes a bit further up but I'm going to do it so it looks best for me so I don't like a complete idiot so I'm just going to take my Sigma um, E05, which is the eyeliner brush, and my MAC Fluid Line in Black Track. Okay, so I've finally done the eyeliner, and if you've applied eyeliner before, which I'm thinking most of you are girls, and most of you have, you understand how difficult it is to get it even just like when you're doing just a tiny flick or anything let alone when you're doing this huge wing and actually this eye is a bit different to this eye so it always looks different anyway because like this side of the lid is like lower down oh so so frustrating but I've finally done it so it you know is vaguely similar it's just like a tiny little flick you can see the next bit gets a bit easier and that's just curling and apply it um, you can apply fake lashes if you want but I'm not going to and um, yeah just I'm not going to curl my lashes either because I don't have my curler but um, applying mascara so because the bottom of my lashes are so like thick I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Voluminous because it's really good at uh, thickening so I'm just going to apply this to my lashes So I'm actually going to go back in for my bottom lash line because the lashes are so intense. Okay, so the eyelashes are done. I'm just going to zoom in a bit more so you can see how intense it is. And it's re I'm really getting there now, actually. At first I was kind of like, oh God, it's going to be really bad. Is that focusing? So, um obviously we're different people eye shapes are completely different and stuff like that but she's kind of looking to the side and her eyebrows are like whoop which I guess would help the flick but yeah so now for the face and the lips um, I hope this doesn't look too weird on camera it's looking like really dark I look like doll eyed um, yeah so for the face it's quite a colourful pinky blush and I'm going to use this model's, model's own warm glow and it says warm glow but for me it's actually quite dark so this would be perfect and she's kind of she's not got it on the apples she's got it more kind of working from the contour inwards and then it's kind of it like gets bigger about here but not on the apples at all so this is my Sigma large angled contour F40 kind of got it on her cheekbones and a little bit lower again but it doesn't come this far and you see that actually brings quite a bit of contour to your face as well so it can slim you down Rest for the lips I've chosen not to go with a bright pink lipstick because it's just too much and she actually has really sheer lips like it's bright pink but it's not thick so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use three products 
first of all I'm going to start by lining my lips with this it's just a 17 lip liner because I haven't invested in any expensive ones as yet um, this one's in Valentine and I'm just going to really lightly line my lips with this and I'm going to fill it in as well She has lovely full lips, so be generous. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have really dry lips at the moment, so please do excuse that. So you can see that's given a really nice sheer pink colour. I actually do have quite big lips, I just never fill them in. So, um, it looks like I've had Botox, God. Right, and then, I'm sorry this is a bit of a high-end brand, but I got it for Christmas, and it's the only colour I have that's good for this, because I never really buy bright pinks, but I've realised if I'm going to start doing videos like this, I need to be more experimental with my colours, and not just buy things I'd wear every day. So this is by Estee Lauder and it's called Pink Parfait and it's just a really sheer cover lipstick that's um, very sparkly but very very pink so it's kind of a bit of a godsend and then just apply this and they, all their products smell mmm so fruity god my lips look so big Sorry if they don't do it's just I never fill them in so I'm quite like shocked. And I've done it so the way that it doesn't look stupid but you've just kind of increased by like a millimetre or two. So you can see how lovely and glossy that is. And um, I was thinking that, thinking of applying this dazzle glass called Like Venus but I feel like this is glossy enough. Maybe I'll apply a little bit just to the centre. just to create a little bit of sheen and then one last thing and it is a black beauty spot um yeah it is a black beauty spot I was just checking if it wasn't brown so I'm just going to take my eyeliner and everything and um on the right side god so like glamorous but um yeah this is my Jessie James makeup look and I'll just put a photo at the end to kind of make it look like the photo I'm impersonating and I hope you've enjoyed. I know she's become really famous very quickly and I'm sure there'll be lots of interest in her now. So thank you so much for watching. I understand that this isn't a day look because I'm impersonating a celebrity. I don't have to say, you know, this isn't a day look because obviously it's not. It's for a photo shoot. So I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye.